everyone and welcome back here to Minecraft on the iron. No, it's not, is it? It's not Minecraft at all. But you can punch trees and you can do, you've got to do an awful lot of that, to be honest with you. This is Seven Days to Die, a zombie apocalyptic stroke crafting game and we are not alone. I'm here with Rawley. Hello, Rawley. Hi. Hello. Um, we're here. I'm playing, if I just press tab here and look at my character, uh, a randomly generated, sort of slightly Hispanic looking woman who's wearing a bra and knickers and nothing else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that happens a lot in this <laughs> I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I've got some snow there, I've got a road here, and I've got some plant fibers here. Let's grab some plant fibers. So we're going to start off by punching the ground and punching stuff. Um, bushes to get sticks. In fact, let's do that now. And yeah. then I'm going to look for a stone, which is the most important thing to do in this game, I understand. Yes. Yes. It's extremely important. Indeed. You need tools. Yes. Um, we are going to... We are on the same map, but we are separated. Uh, if we just look at the map here, I'm at 253 north by 1622 east. So, um, and where are you, Rolly? Uh, 9.15 north to by 9.08 east. 9.15 north by 9.08 east. That is going to be a long way away from me. So what we've decided to do is the first uh, episode we're going to meet up in town, which should be over in that direction. And while we're doing it, I'm just going to run through here. I'm going to look for a stone so I can make the first tool and we're going to pick up this cotton on the way through here because the nudity is slightly disturbing there's a stone <laughs> so now we can do the crafting thing so we can craft a stone axe which is like this so we did a stick, we did some plant fibers and we did a small stone Why, for some strange coincidence I have one of every of them Good job. Oh, yeah. we are going to be putting this up on our channel when I'm thinking about this um, each one of us is going to be doing an episode in turn. So I'll be recording the first episode, and Rawley will be recording the second episode, and so on. And I hope that you guys will all take the time after watching this to go over to Rawley's channel. I'll put the link below. And uh, watch the next episode, then come back to mine, because otherwise I should imagine it's going to be a bit confusing, if nothing else. And Rawley does excellent YouTube. So, oh, thank you. Oh, you do. Uh, the one thing I, I, I really, really love about your channel, Rory, and I'm going to do this whole, well, I suppose it's only fair because I'm moving out there, this whole American-y, gushy, touchy-feely stuff <laughs> here, okay? And I'm just going to have to talk like this for the rest of the episode, don't you know, to balance it out. Oh, good lord, I've just thrown away my axe. Oh, no. Yeah. Pick it up, Eric. Yes. Come back here, axe. Come back, axe. All right. Um, it, I just love the enthusiasm you have in your videos. It's oh. always great. And... It's it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a real pleasure working with you. Aww. How do we such professionals? Uh, so yeah, so I'm heading off out here with hitting things with my axe because it's much faster than punching uh, it is. punching them. And not that uh, much faster. Not that much faster, no, but it's not a good axe. The the thing that's interest is of importance here is the quality. Now it's it's fifty it was it's it's ten times your level plus or minus fifty if I remember right. Yep. Um, that and that, that affects lots of things like the durability and the amount of damage it does. Okay, at the moment this does 1.01 .01 block damage. As this wears down, it will do less and less and less until the point it's absolutely useless having it. In fact, it's some you can quite easily get to the point where it's easier to hit things with your fists. <laughs> and we will at that point throw this away and make another one. Oh, she's noticed me. Hello. Rains. Ugh. Run. Rains. Rains. Right. There, oh, not coal. much of a problem. Ooh, coal, nice. They're I'll not much of a it. problem at... Uh... I see why they've turned into zombies. They're absolutely embarrassed because they're wearing the same dress. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, as I was saying, they're not much of a problem, zombies, during the day because they move so slowly. And if you're situation aware, you will never really have much trouble with them. That said, we're probably going to be talking to you and ignoring them and get bit in about five minutes. Yep. Oh. Ooh, piggy. Ooh, nice. So let's look at the map here. Okay, 139, 1604. We're heading 
He ran away and I don't feel like chasing him. Oh. More or less in the right direction. Yep, we're going to want to go this way. And punch things as we go. Uh, I will take out one of these trees at some point, I think. Uh, singing the Lumberjack song while I do it, of course. <laughs> so what is seven days to die? And I think I'm going to ask the more experienced player of the game, because I've only been playing it for a week, uh, to tell everyone what's about. So can you give us a quick idea about what seven days to die is, please? Uh, well, it's a survival crafting game, and you basically just run around, try not to get eaten by zombies, and build fun things to hide yourself from zombies. Yeah, and every seventh day, this is why it's called Seventh Day to Die, you get an insane horde attack you. So yep, we've got the feral horde. Yes, we've got basically that that long to get organised. Yeah. And, and hopefully find guns. Find yes, good. guns are good. You can tell it's an American game. Guns are good. <laughs> All right, I found a campsite. Nice. Try to get a cooking pot while you're there. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, uh, we've got lots of company here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to... Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Yeah, it was a crawler. Uh, they sneak up it. on you. They sneaks up on you. They, they sneaks right up on you. They does. I didn't notice that one until the last moment. But what I'm going to try to do is just lead these guys away from the campsite, and then I'll run past them, go back, and see what I can um, steal. By the looks of them, I don't think they're going to particularly object... <laughs> because in all honesty, you don't need much in the way of cooking equipment to cook brains. No, not really. Uh, if I had a bow, I'd probably have a crack at killing some of these guys, because they all carry good stuff. But I don't have a bow, so I'm going to go through this bag first, grab some stuff. I'll see what it is in a sec, uh, because that guy's close to me. I want to grab that sleeping bag as well, because that'll save me making one. Oh, level two. Well done. Let's see what I get this guy. From chopping wood and coal. And oh, not she's a lumberjack. She's okay. <laughs> All right, let, let me let me start actually progressing in a direction. All right. So so far, the only decent melee way I've found is you let them get a little bit close. You hit them. You back off. Yeah, that's the classic method there. And then you reverse it to something that eats you. So, that guy had some feathers on him. There we go, grab some junk. Of course, now the zombies have gone back to the campsites. Of course. It's nice of them, and it's getting a bit late, so I... Th think I might cut this short. I'm just going to grab this. And grab this cooking pot. And uh, run away from the zombie. Yeah, right. that's it. Uh, getting away from them. Need yeah. arrows. Otherwise, we're going to be spending all day dealing with that, and I don't want to. Let's just make sure I'm going in the right direction. I'm going in the right direction. He says change in direction slightly. So, we'll carry on, and... Uh-oh, got company. Hi, guys! So, we just grab bits and pieces on the way through. It's good to have a few fibers. That is a bear. Don't want to tangle with a bear. Bears are nice in that they try to kill the zombies. But... They also try to kill you. Yeah, I think they have problems telling the difference, to be honest with you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, I just hello, to friend. Point, uh, point out to them that you know, if, I was, uh, if I was after brains, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go after a, a, a bear. Because there's only one smart bear, and he's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo Boo? Right, so let's grab a tree. Gotcha. Oh, you don't even have anything. Rip off. Oh, we yeah, cotton. Be nice to have some clothes. We had a better class of zombie over here. The one I killed had feathers. Oh, nice. Absolutely. Yes, feathers are actually very useful in the early game. As, as a result, we will be looking in birds' nests and things like that because feathers are used to make arrows, and arrows are used to make even deader zombies. Mm -hmm. Double dead. Double dead. Three deaded. Yes. 
So we'll be heading on. We'll be making a bow and arrows fairly soon, I should imagine. Uh, I with got those feathers. And one thing we're going to have to start doing is if you look at the time in the top left hand corner, it's 5 pm. <laughs> and it's probably going to be time to start looking for a place to hole up. Uh, how do you tend to spend your first night? Uh, oh, sorry, I almost ran into a, a big guy here. Um, I usually try to find any building I can, and then I go to the top of it. And that sounds like a plan, to be honest. Crouch with you. down until until the day comes. Yes. Uh, if it's a little bit later, I might stay at the stop of one of these uh, rocks. Uh, oh, actually, no, they're too easy to climb up. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, yeah, they'll walk right up the rock. Yes. But, right. uh, okay, so the, the plan is we're going to get to the town. We're going to meet up. Uh, hopefully not we get getting eaten, eaten too many times in the meantime. And then we're going to think about setting up a base and basically surviving. Yeah. Now, things, at this point, we need basic... Well, we need clothes. We need armor, we need weapons, we need tools, we need a safe place. Uh, the, the thing that's really hard at the start of the game I found is finding food. It's, it's possibly because I'm totally new at this game. Yeah, you gotta hunt. Yes. And uh, I t I, I, so far I've scavenged, and one of the things I found about with scavenging was if you settle in one place for too long, you empty it of food very fast. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, you gotta hunt, and then you have to carry. Yeah, so we're just running past these guys quickly. I'm just gonna leg it a little bit, and awesome. see if I can find somewhere to stay. Which is a good time to talk about the stats in the bottom left-hand corner. Now we've got four bars. The uh, the first two are hunger and thirst, and they are, as you can imagine, very important. I believe you will you will just start taking damage and dying if any either of them gets to zero. Yep. Um the third one is health. If that one gets down to zero, yes, surprise will surprise you. You die. <laughs> it's odd that, isn't it? And the final one is stamina. Um <sighs> your best friend, your worst your enemy. Indeed. And when that one gets down to zero, you start panting and walking very, very slowly. And above that, uh, well, you can see um, a plus sign in a what's it there. That's uh, an indication that I'm actually healing from the damage that I took when that zombie hit me earlier on. And whoa! I've oh. arrived at a snow biome. Mm, okay. I feel like I'm getting closer. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so I went to look at the map there, and then a zombie stepped in front of me. <laughs> Sneaky zombie. Ooh, a campsite. I wonder if this is the campsite you were at. What's your coordinates? Uh, doo -doo -doo. 466 north by 562 east. It probably was. <laughs> I'm on your trail. Okay. A lot of zombies here. Yeah, that sounds about right as well. I'm going to uh, kill some of them. Mm-hmm. I, well, I shall leave, uh, let you catch up with me a little bit then, I think. What did you uh, pick up here? Uh, the cooking pot and sleeping bag. Nice. Hello, nurse. It's a do you bag. have any antibiotics? Oh, that would be nice if you do. Sleeping bag is useful because it sets your spawn. If oh. your spawn is not set, you respawn somewhere randomly and have to go and find your stuff. Yeah. Which can be thousands of blocks away. Yep. Which just adds to the fun, really, doesn't it? I'm going to make myself a sleeping bag, actually. Alright, well, you go for that and stop calling me Ashley. <laughs> yeah, the old ones are the best. That is a lie, but the old ones are the best. That's still a lie. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, as if that was a mess. <laughs> I think... Yeah, you know, it's getting dark now. I think I'm just going to make a temporary shelter at the top of this hill here. And huddle down and cower for the rest That's of the fair. night and i think at the at, at dawn we'll end the episode and yep. 
Ow. Hand Ow. over to Rawley. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, these wood logs and I'm going to craft those into planks. Okay, there's six of them and that will take, well, 19 seconds to do the rest. I think uh, so that each one of them gives us, was it 16 planks? And once we've got those, nine, eight, seven, etc., etc., uh, turn all of those into planks. I'm going to make. I'm just going to make a little pillar to stand on top of. And two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven of these. Okay, and. Uh, that leaves us with eight planks. So we'll craft those. That's going to take 44 seconds to craft. So let's have a quick look around here and see what resources we can grab first. Yeah. Lumberjack, I don't like you. And in fact, kill. let's cut down a tree while Ouch. we're waiting. Bleeding. Oh dear. Oh good. Uh, fortunately, you start off with a bandage. Yep. I'm running. No clothes, but a bandage. A bandage. In fact, Let's get rid of I'm running. that, because quite frankly, I could probably punch it faster than that. I'm running directly towards zero zero. Hey, you're probably going to run past me. Probably. Uh, That'll be fine. One. Let's see. Let's get all Let's those done. These stumps. Ooh, a flashlight. Yeah, nice. And we'll Let's make another catch. axe, because I want to get a tree down before it gets too dark. It's 8 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, I want to be somewhere safe because at 10 o'clock, the zombies start running. Yeah, they do. Brains. Fast brains. So, right, right, this is better. There's uh, this axe. Jerk. So, hopefully, Lucky. this tree will start falling. And it starts falling. The first thing you want to do is work out which direction it's falling. Because <laughs> yeah. if it falls on you, you'll notice it permanently. Well. Right, so that gives me some logs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wood frames and I'm going to go up to this tallest point here and I'm going to do a Minecrafty thing. Jump, right click. Now, I can, then I can hit this, use four wood to turn it into a wood block. And I'll probably do that for the first tuple, like this. Hey, is that a building? I'm uh, just pleased to see you. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. So we'll pop that's that in a... there, and then we'll just put oh, a, a little shelter around us here, just a little ledge to spend the night on. So we've got a little platform. I could put down a light. I'm not going to put down a light, and I'm just going to stay hidden up here in the dark, sneaking through the night. And hoping the zombies don't see me. So we're staying in the middle here. Let's have a look at what we found during the day. So I've got a lead trophy. I can turn that into scrap lead. Later on we'll melt that down. And we can make bullets out of it and things like that. I got good sh shotgun parts. Nice. Nice indeed. That will eventually craft into a shotgun. We need to find lots of other shotgun parts. But... Uh, barrels, hilts, the knowledge of how to make it, things like that. And I've got lots of cotton, so I'm going to split that like that, and oh, other way around, like that, always do that one wrong, and that will now make us cloth fragments, so we'll do that. They produce nice and quickly, we we'll use those to make clothes in a minute. Right, it's got a, a 40 spiked club, that's rubbish, and cooking pot and that's good because that helps you then it's a surprise you it helps you cook yeah, we can if we go here there's a campfire one can make like this so we can craft that take a few seconds here Boink. and we'll put that on the bar and we can put that down and just show how it works um, so this is the campfire interface we put burnables on the left hand side what we got for cookware there's grills there's pots there's, you can use a stick there i think as well and then you put stuff in here in a recipe so if you've got some rabbit you put that in there with a jar of water you can make boiled rabbit for example we won't do that because 
I'm in a precarious situation and I don't want the zombies to hear me too much. So let's go back to crafting. Alright, um, I'm in a building! Yeah, hey, uh, Nice! And I'm not dead. Right, so we've got cloth and we've got plant fibres. Plant fibres can be used to make some trousers, which I think we very much need. And then we're going to use the cloth to make a bit of armour. So we'll make some chest armour. And because yeah, apparently we were caught on a beach when the zombie apocalypse happened. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't particularly like that decision they made. They could just give you some some tatty clothes, really. Yeah, you they? know, it's it's kind of weird. Mm. Really, that you're just naked. Yes. All right. So make some boots. And make some. What do we need? Head armor is four, and gloves are two. We can make both. That's all right. So let's make ourselves some armor and some trousers. And Getting fancy. It, oh yes, and ignore the fact that it's impossible to make any of this stuff the way that they're asking us to. <laughs> but that's crafting for you, isn't it? So these guys, these things have the same same deal, okay? So they have a quality that gives them the changes of the durability and the protection. As you can see, these are really, really crap. Only one percent percent protection, but it's better than nothing. So we shall wear them, and we shall wear all this. Same deal. It's I've not made anything great, but I'm very low level. So we will probably make better stuff later on, or find better stuff. Or I really hope we find better stuff. Going to the character. There we go. We're not breaking local decency laws anymore. All right, and this is our our clothing. So there's three body slots. There's an outer, a middle, and an inner. I think it's jackets and shirts. You can wear glasses. You can wear whatever the heck that is. I have no idea. Gloves, backpack, and <laughs> the same things on legs. So that's it. And. Do I have anything else to craft? Yes, I do. So, very important additions. We want a bow and arrow. And... Wood bow. We don't have enough sticks to make, unfortunately. We will make that uh, in the morning, I should imagine. So, in the meantime, let's make ourselves some arrows. So, a feather, a stick, and a rock will make you five arrows. We can make that three times that'll give us 15 arrows for the morning which is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick or indeed an arrow okay so that's going to take a few minutes and the dead of the night is pretty much just hiding and waiting for everything to go past so unless something exciting happens well even if because all i'm going to do is start running in that direction <laughs> i shall see you all next time now rawdy's going to be playing day two on her channel go and watch it yeah now now wait a few seconds let me say thank you very much Rory. it's been a pleasure and thank you everyone else for watching and until the next time thank you and good night